I see that you're assuring the market that you are on track for your sales growth and your margin expansion, but you did miss the lowest of the estimates in the third quarter. Where was the blip in the third quarter, France? Good morning. Hi, good morning. Well, actually, the average of the analyst expectations was around 4.1% and we came in at 4. Uh, so I would not call that a miss. Uh, we also saw strong order growth at 5% and a very good profit improvement at 140 basis points. Um, overall, we believe we are on track to deliver on our year guidance of 46% growth and 100 basis points profit improvement. We saw very strong performance in our connected care and health informatics business, which grew at uh, 8%. Our personal health continued to grow very well. From a geographical point of view, our growth markets, among which India, Indonesia, China, uh, had very strong double-digit growth. Um, so we are on track to deliver on our plan. We continue to, to perform. Can I ask you about the competitive environment, Franz? We saw a profit warning uh, stunning the market from one of your rivals, GE. Of course, they operate in a number of other areas in which you're not active. So when you look at the distractions, perhaps, uh, that GE is going to have to deal with over the coming months, is that an opportunity for you? Philips has made a very massive transformation over the last five years and we have pivoted to be a focused health technology company. So that's what we do. So we are not distracted by underperforming businesses in other sectors. Uh, we can just focus on our customers and consumers who want to improve lives in the area of health. Uh, our technologies, also very much driven by cloud and artificial intelligence, are very much in demand, as demonstrated by, for example, the wins with uh, Lakeland Health or Advocate Health, the largest IDN in Illinois, North America, who are taking our technologies uh, to improve patient care and patient safety uh, that is working with predictive algorithms to support doctors and nurses uh, to improve health care. Uh, so we feel that with this strategic positioning, we are actually well placed to support the world in its needs. And we, are, we don't have these issues about portfolios that are no longer, let's say, tracking well. Franz, let's talk about one of the geographies where, where you have got a very big position and exposure. It's in the United States. When you last spoke to the analyst, you said, I'm taking back market share in the United States, but I am concerned. That was at the end of the second quarter. The Affordable Care Act is something that we debate uh, on a weekly basis here in terms of what Trump does. What's the sentiment from customers? Are they less concerned? How can we benchmark that? And are, what's their level of concern in the United States in regards to spend? Well, I think we are all right to debate it because uh, it is a concern and our, our customers are uh, talking about it. Um, but the response to this uncertainty is actually a commitment by customers to drive better outcomes and better productivity. And Philips, in its way to support customers, we have made a switch. Our business model uh, teams up with customers around productivity and outcomes. Uh, that is why we continue to be able to strike multi-year deals uh, and why our technology, such as in patient care, uh, is in demand. Uh, because if you can treat the patient first time right um, and the patient can go home faster, then within the same reimbursement, the hospital will be in better shape. That is our pitch to our customers and it is it resonates very well in the United States, but also, by the way, in other geographies like, for example, Health 100, the largest private diagnostics chain in China, who have selected our diagnostic imaging and health informatics to diagnose, you know, thousands and thousands of, of Chinese patients who need better care. France, can I ask you then about M&A? Because as you've pointed out, you've gone through this big transformation, very focused on healthcare uh, right now, as we know. But which pieces are still missing of that jigsaw? You've done some big M&A uh, in this field. What, what are the pieces that you still need to fit into the, uh, the Philips uh, house? Well, we are on an exciting journey uh, where we support both the consumers with their private health and hospitals with their healthcare needs. Uh, the portfolio is in good shape. We have primarily an organic growth uh, premise in our strategy. We can grow 46% just 
on our own strength. We can further improve profitability as a self-help story. Yet M&A does play a role in our strategy, as demonstrated with the uh, Spectronetics acquisition uh, this summer. Uh, we have just started to integrate Spectronetics into our portfolio. Uh, by the way, Spectronetics makes smart devices for minimally invasive operations. Their drug-coated balloon is a is a very novel instrument with which you can apply drugs at the inner side of vessels to, to deal with the calcification. Uh, the FDA gave its uh, approval on it. Uh, it's indicated for highly calcified vessels. So we are excited about that addition to the portfolio as we now have a complete lineup of products, uh, software and services to treat cardiovascular issues. Uh, Franz, you're selling businesses, you're buying businesses, share buybacks. Anybody would, would perhaps think Franz van Houten is a man that's preparing his company, his Dutch company, to avoid any heft from an activist investor. Can you update the market at all in terms of Dan Loeb, third point, and the possibility that they're building a stake that was reported in the Eindhoven newspaper in late June? Are they part of your roster? Have you heard from, from Dan Loeb? No, I, I have not. Uh, I read the same uh, article as you did. But I do believe that the best uh, strategy is to be in control of your own performance. Uh, with this path of focus on health technology, the 4 to 6 percent growth, the annual profit improvement, we believe we have a great proposition. Um, it's very clear. Uh, we've also seen that in, uh, in the share price and in the total shareholder return. Uh, where we are actually in the, in the top quartile of our health technology peers. Uh, so, I, I, you know, we continue to drive the car ourselves and we are confident about our strategy. Uh, Franz, you've got still around 40% of the lighting business that you spun off. If you need that for M&A, are you going to sell that down? What's the time scale there? Well, we are eventually going to sell down. Uh, we are not in a hurry, so we'll pick our moments. Uh, but it is a commitment to sell down over time. Um, you know, Lighting is a good company. They pivoted to, uh, to growth uh, for the first time since 2013. Uh, they saw in the third quarter a very good profit improvement. Uh, the CEO, Eric Rondola, announced that you know, he is confident about the fourth quarter going forward. So it is a good investment and we will take our time uh, to, to sell down, um, you know, uh, in the future. Uh, but we will eventually as we focus on health technology.